Coming up on Vegas Nation Game Day, it's a new day, it's a new era. Those are the words from interim coach Antonio Pierce, who makes his debut on Sunday against the Giants. A lot has happened on a short week for the Silver and Black. How do they match up against the New York football Giants? We'll discuss all that and more right now on Vegas Nation Game Day. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin. It's the news that shook up football and made the Raiders the ones to watch heading into week 10 of the NFL season. Good morning, Raider Nation. I'm your host, Leandre Fox, and this is Vegas Nation Game Day. The NFL trade deadline came and went with no trades from the Raiders, but brought not one, not two, but three major changes to the team. Right as the clock struck 10 p.m. on Tuesday, the Raiders announced they fired head coach Josh McDaniels and general manager Dave Ziegler. Antonio Pierce and Champ Kelly have taken over in the interim. Less than 24 hours later, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo was benched. Aiden O'Connell was named the starter. With so many big moves, there's been so much that fans have had to say, and we're going to hear from Raider Nation in just a little bit. But first, let's hear from some of the players. Been great. Um, AP, me and him have had a great relationship ever since he's been here. So I got the ultimate respect for him. The guys do as well. So uh, that's all you can ask for. You know, he's a leader of men, and uh, I think the guys are really responding well to you know his message and what he's pushing. And uh, it's going to be you know exciting once we get out there on the field together. But I think with AP being a player and just having a different energy, it's just different. And you know we have a we have a basketball going locker room now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to have a little fun, just trying to get back to having fun as a kid and playing the game you love. And I think that's been his message. It's different, you know, it's definitely different. I don't want to compare it better or worse, but I just know to kind of make it, you could trust him a little bit as far as what he's taking because he's been out there and just, he's going to guide you in the right direction. So the trust is definitely there. I'm going through it all. You know, that's, uh, I'm getting spoon-fed right now, which is really good. Just take a little bit at a time. I'm not going to get everything right. I'm not going to be perfect on Sunday. I'll be, I'll be lying to you to tell you that. But I'm going to give you everything I got. And I'm going to really rely on the people in our, in our building. Review Journal's Vinny Bonsignor joins us now. Vinny, you spoke to Raiders owner Mark Davis about the move. What can you tell us about what prompted the firing of the Raiders' former coach and GM? Well, a couple of things. Number one, Mark Davis just didn't feel like it was working um, and didn't have much hope that it was going to get turned around anytime soon. So in order to salvage something from this season, or at least try to, he felt like he needed to make the change right now. There's nine games left in the season. Maybe Antonio Pierce can find some magic as the leader. Uh, this could be a shot in the arm uh, for the team moving forward in order to take advantage of these next nine games. I know it sounds uh, crazy to think about it, but at three and five, as Mark Davis pointed out, they're not out of anything. Um, so anything is still possible. And he wanted to try to maximize that as much as he possibly could. For the future, the big picture, that remains to be seen. By rule, the Raiders have to open up both their head coaching job and their general manager job up to an extent, uh, you know, open to an extensive search. So they'll go through that process after the season. And Mark Davis told me that he's open to whatever direction that ultimately takes him, whether it's right back to Antonio Pierce and Champ Kelly as a general manager, or maybe it's somebody outside the building. So that remains to be seen. But for now, he's hoping that there's some magic, some lightning in a bottle that the Raiders can capture by making the change when he did. Well, Vinny, you just mentioned it. They'll be on a search at the end of the season. But in the meantime, what stood out to you about Antonio Pierce and Champ Kelly from this week? Well, there's no doubt that Antonio uh, Pierce brings um, the respect being a former player. Uh, he was always known as a high energy, intense, passionate guy that liked to have fun on the football field. Uh, and he made sure to tell us and obviously to his players as well, it's time to ha have some fun right now. That doesn't mean it's going to lead to wins on Sundays, uh, but he wants his guys in the right frame of mind. And you felt that in the locker room these last couple of days uh, since we've gotten in there. It's just a different vibe and guys talking about Hunter Renfro in particular, not walking along on eggshells. I think as the losses mounted, as the lack of success, um, you know, uh, came to the Raiders, there was a lot of pressure being felt from the coach, the general manager, the players, everybody felt like another shoe's gonna drop. Somebody's gonna pay a price for this. And that price got paid by uh, Dave Ziegler, the general manager, and Josh McDaniels. And now that they're out of that kind of danger zone, I think the Raiders are looking at this as an opportunity to use this 
as the catalyst for positive change. Doesn't mean or guarantee anything, but I think a weight has been lifted because the price has already been paid. It was the head coach, the general manager, and the offensive coordinator, and to some extent, Jimmy Garoppolo. But everybody that remains now feels a little bit liberated that the worst has passed. It's time to go have some fun and win some football games. We'll see if that translates to Sundays. DNR House of Diamonds is Las Vegas' elite private office jeweler, the perfect bridge between internet pricing and a traditional brick and mortar jewelry store. We specialize in loose diamonds, natural and lab grown, engagement rings, fashion jewelry, custom design, and jewelry repairs. We operate by appointment in our beautiful offices in the One Summerlin Building, downtown Summerlin. Our great relationships with the world's largest diamond wholesalers and our low overhead saves you hundreds, if not thousands, on your purchase. Well, it seems interim coach Antonio Pierce has already endeared himself to Raider Nation. Everyone loves the kind of energy Coach Pierce brings, that swagger that the Raiders are supposed to embody. Fans who were out for the season are back in, and they want Allegiant Stadium packed out in silver and black to solidify the renewed energy. And we want to hear from you all on the latest, so be sure to comment below. With all the changes, how are the Raiders set to fare at the sportsbook? Review Journal's Todd Dewey has your betting odds. Sportsbooks have reported sharp action on both sides of the Raiders-Giants game in the wake of all the changes that were made this week. The Raiders are one and a half point favorites at several books after opening as three and a half point favorites after the Giants lost to the Jets last week. The Westgate Superbook took a lot of sharp money on the Giants after McDaniels was fired and Jimmy G was benched. The total opened at 38 and a half and is now down to 37 and a half. Well, now that the dust has settled on the news, there's still a game to be played as the Raiders host the New York Giants. Adam Hill has your fast takes. I'm Adam Hill and it's time for fast takes. And look, all the talk this week is about Antonio Pierce in for Josh McDaniels on an interim basis. And what does that do to the attitude and the demeanor around the locker room? It's been fun in there for sure, but there is a practical side of this. Blue Hardigree is taking over as offensive coordinator for the fire Josh McDaniels and uh, Mick Lombardi, who was the offensive coordinator, even though Lombardi is calling plays. Bo Hardigree has not called plays. It's a whole new experience for him. He's talking about how he wants to kind of put his stamp on things a little bit with how he calls the game. But really, he's talking about logistics, holding the button down when you're trying to talk to the quarterback. Things like that that he hasn't done at this level are things that he's going to have to keep in mind for Sunday. Same for Antonio Pierce, who hasn't made decisions about instant replay things, uh, fourth down decisions, things like that. Like, yes, he's a leader. He's an emotional, inspirational guy but it's all about those logistics. And he said, I'm not going to be perfect, but I'm going to try. On the other side, Daniel Jones in for Tyrod Taylor. Taylor's been better at quarterback this year than Jones. We'll see if Jones learned anything from sitting on the sideline during his injury. From all of us here at the Review Journal, we want to thank you for tuning in to Vegas Nation Game Day. Make sure you check out all the fast takes and smart coverage at VegasNation.com. I'm Leandre Fox, and Raider Nation, enjoy the game on Sunday as it's the beginning of a new era. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin.